I hear sirens. I can't move my body. It's pitch black in front of me. What's going on? Am I dead? I woke up and found myself in a white room. It appears to be a hospital. I was lying in a bed. Who am I? I can't remember anything. Do I have amnesia? There's a girl sitting next to me. A teacup was sitting on a nearby table. Did she put it there in front for me? I wonder what's in it. Alright guys, <laughs> this is part two. I hope you guys are enjoying part one. Um, I thought it was, you know, con uh, appropriate to start out the video in case people didn't watch part one like that. So, next is honey milk, which never heard of before. But it's good honey milk. The awakening of your life. Okay. Oh, you're awake. Jeez, girl. Your hair's a mess. I'm sorry. Those pink tails don't help. Wait, she, she straight up just says, what's up, bro? Who are you? Oh, boy. Do you, like, have amnesia or something? Have you forgotten about me or anything, right? That's what I'm assuming she's talking. Seems like it. That's no way you forgot about me, right? Really? Are you serious? You can't remember anything about me or yourself? Your name is Katanaru and my name is Rikana. Re what? Millie? Millie Foray? Jeez. You're a disgusting MMO addicted meat hermit. And I'm your beloved little s Oh, this is different. She's my little sister. Jeez. Now, me personally, MMOs can't get into them. But, yeah, I, I bet people will spend their whole day playing it. I, sp I spend all my days playing RPGs like Persona 3, but not MMOs. How could you have forgotten about it? This is my sister? My sister? Sister. Your moi moi little sister has come all this way to visit you, so some gratitude. Well, remember? No. My head hurts. Bro, you you were hit by a car. I guess you don't remember a thing. You're lucky I was the first to find you, and just a little longer you probably would have died. Okay, people probably get annoyed by my voice. You could even say it's been uh, being quick to call an ambulance that you were saved. How about a little thanks? Thanks. Jeez, you're such a klutz. <laughs> I cannot not do the voice, I'm sorry. You won't even be able to fend your, uh, feed yourself if I wasn't around. All you have to do is play online games. What's so fun about grinding levels all day? Hey, it's important. It gets the job done, girl. Sister. You can't even take a bath alone at your age, what? You always complain that I'm not there with you. What? That was a joke, of course. Okay. Look on your face. Anything <laughs> taking that seriously. And she's taking advantage of the fact that I have amnesia. That sounds like an evil little sister. But hey, we're siblings. We're just messing around. Let's get along, okay? All right. Bro, you must be tired. Don't push yourself too hard. I'm gonna go home now. I left you some honey milk in the fridge, so drink it and take it easy. I'll come see you tomorrow. Is there anything you want me to bring you? Well, even if there is, I'm not gonna bring it. <laughs> okay, this is different. I didn't ex- I thought all three of these girls I'd meet would- assume 
to be my girlfriend, but no, we get a sister. The girl who called herself Rakana Milifore went home. I know I can't pronounce these names. She seems to be my little sister. Apparently she'll be back to see you tomorrow. I wish I, uh, tomorrow would hurry up again. I really want to see her again. All right. So there's really no point in saving because there's not there's nothing we can fail at. Wait, a passbook and seal are also here. It looks like whoever owns this has 200 million yen. Could it be mine? If so, it'd be bad if anyone else found out about this. I should keep this safe. You hid the passbook and seal. I wonder if the game would have been different if uh, I didn't do that. Actually, no, he, he wouldn't have went to bed. He should probably go to bed. Oh, interesting. Good on you, Sharon, for actually being different. Wait, so Yanderers can take... Ugh, I'm messing that word up, too, but Yanderers can also be your sister too it's not just a lover it just has to be a girl who's in love with you even if it's a sister it might could do harm to you someone's going to correct me but that's interesting actually it's weird just, yeah. stop stupid bro your darling sister is back i'm sorry would you i mean people have that kind of personalities but yeah like don't call me your darling little sister are you crying Oh, you must have been lonely. Uh, to be honest, yeah. Sure. I knew you're really helpless without me. Well, I do have amnesia. This is going to be a while. Did you drink the honey milk I brought? I bought, uh, I, I bought it with my meager allowance. You better not have thrown it away or something. There's a little bit left. Don't mind if I do. I just love the the honey flavor in this. This yumminess is wasted on you. Wow. That reminds me. Why don't we go up for a bit? Uh, sure. Where? Just to change the pace, you know. Get all uh, you'll get all gloomy if you stay up cooped up in here. Well, let's go. Hmm. Oh, this, is, this is actually interesting. It's not actually predictable this time. Brother is so nice today. Are you feeling better? Are you able to remember anything? Not a thing. I get it. Don't worry. You don't have to remember it all at once. Take your time. I know. You know, I... I kind of hope you don't get your memory back. It's kind of refreshing being able to talk to you like this. What, am I always a jerk to you? No surprise. <laughs> uh, we weren't really close before. We'd never really talked to each other. But now that you lost your memory, we have a chance to change all that, you know? I kind of feel like I'm be able to get closer to you. I'm glad I was able to talk to you again after all. I love you, bro. Bruh. This pump. Did your heart just jump right now? Why? It totally did. I bet it's beating like crazy. For your sister? Not really. Fun to mess with. Okay, I'm getting a little confused. Eh. The party bells are same with or without your memory. I guess it's all in your traits. Now I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I haven't eaten since this morning. Let's go grab a bite to eat. I'm starving to death here. Better treat me to something. Come on, you're good for it, right? <laughs> uh, I can't... Oh, man. I'm too nice. Fine. This is suspicious. I had a meal with my sister. Naturally, it was our beloved Brahmin, of course. It seemed our relationship which has been rather cold, but but before I lost my memory, was headed to a better direction. 
Somewhere along the way, I seem to have started to pay more attention to her smiling face. Hmm. But money is involved. Uh, has a refrigerator. Inside is the honey milk. Oh, okay. Nothing. Oh, my swollen face is, uh, I think I'm pretty damn good looking. I think he said that last time. Is there really nothing else to do? I'm not sleepy yet. Okay. If it isn't this, then what else could it be? Oh, a piece of paper has fallen under the chair. <laughs> Hmm. She must know somebody who's stupid and is frustrated because of it. Why does this hap- wait, why does this have to happen to me? Why do I have to pay for others' crimes? It's fucked up. This world is fucked up. Whose note could this be for now? I'll just keep it with me. What do you know? Uh, creepy little thing, but you know, it's fine. He hasn't harmed me in any of the games I've played so far that he's in. Suspicious. Wait. It the way the way it's written, it almost looks like a word was fucked up. But no, I, th I think it was alright. Hey, have you been, bro? I'm just as great as usual. Just as hungry as ever, too. And I'm hungry. What's with the long face? I think you look way cuter when you're smiling. I'm sorry, girls, do you talk to your older brother like this? Maybe your younger brother when he's really young, but come on. You really have a woman's face. You even look more feminine than some of the girls. Damn. Say it. So, do you have a girlfriend? I might have one, but she hasn't visited me in days, so I guess I don't. Well, duh. Anyway, more importantly, came here today because I want to talk to you about something. Uh, you're gonna be helping your cute little sister wash her troubles away. Try looking a little bit happier. Wash your troubles away. So anyway, let's get Sarah's for a minute. I'm thinking of going to one of those smart schools. Those schools where all geniuses go. I know you're probably thinking like, you of all people? But hey, I'm pretty smart. I'm studying hard too. I'm sure mom and dad would be proud too. Yeah, where is mom and dad? Yeah, do whatever you want. Oh, you see, the problem is money. You're in charge of it, so I guess I can't just use it as I please. That's why I'm always so hungry all the time. I was thinking I have a right to some of that money, too, so I thought I'd talk to you about it. Well? Ooh. Okay, this is interesting. Alright, give her only the needed amount. Or give her your passbook and seal. I don't give her the amount of money she needs. Okay. I'm definitely gonna make something of myself and come back to save you. Okay. Hopefully she's not hiding a... Hiding the fact that she wants more. The next day, she didn't come to see me. At least I didn't give her my whole thing, but, yeah. The day after that, the next one, too, I kept waiting for her, but she never came. I was worried about her. Did she get into an accident? What kind of a trouble has she gotten herself into? If you have amnesia, and this girl comes at you and claiming to be your sister, I guess you would believe her, but then again, you'd just be like, listen, give me a, give me a little bit longer. Unable to sit around idly, I ran out to the hospital. I desperately searched everywhere for her, but I couldn't find her. 
A while later, I began looking at my family registry. Why? I didn't have a little sister. My deceased mother and father were my only family members. Ah, shit. Ah! <laughs> Alright, uh, what are we gonna do? I'm still handsome, though. What do we got? Nothing? Oh, what's this? A note in my coat pocket. Mom died today. I'm all alone now. I have some money at least. Dad left it for me. I'll be okay for a while. From now on, I'll have to live on my own. I'm going to be lonely, but I knew this day would come eventually. There are a lot of things written here that uh, piqued my interest. I could have only written this before I lost my memory. I got someone's note too. It's probably mine. And no one's outside right now. I guess I'll save. Like I said, there's no point. I said I wouldn't, but you never know. Damn. It would have been convenient if I saw this note beforehand, but that's how these things go. It's the day we confront her, if we can find her. Several months has passed since then. Damn. I found her in town. I followed uh, her so I wouldn't lose track of her, then caught up with her and forcibly grabbed her hand. Well. <laughs> uh... If that even is your real name. What? Don't touch me, you're fucking gross. Huh? Little sister. <laughs> what a dumbass. You fucking idiot. You're still saying that stupid shit? Oh shit. Wow. Was it the blank stare? It's really disgusting. School? <laughs> of course it was a lie. All I wanted was your money, you dumbass. I mean, you got hit by a car, you're a single loser dis despite being rich, and you lost your memory. And I was the first one to find you. So you bet your ass I got the idea of pretending to be your sister to get loads of money. And hey, I think I did a pretty good job. In the end, you were the very definition of a sucker. You fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean, but? But? But it's not fair. I know. Even, even I thought it was too good to be true. But wow, people really are this easy to trick. I did even better than I expected. The person who gets fooled is the one who's at fault. You know, back in the day, I used to be the type who got tricked all the time. And I really know how you feel. Oh man, the look on your face right now is so great. Do you feel like you want to die now? I don't want to die. I want my money back. I should probably spend it all. I see. You're pretty disgusting, though. Seriously. Could you not look at me? You kind of stink, too. <laughs> Do you even bathe? Wow. <sighs> I mean, it's probably long gone by now. It's been months. But let me say this now. I'm not going to return anything you gave me. After all, you gave it to me. You gave it to me at your own free will. Wow. What a fucking... When you hand over money to a person, it's best to think of it as giving them the money for free, like a gift. Hope it helps. I'm sure you'd have it rough and all, but I did too, you know. Did you know? I've led a pretty interesting life up until now. All because of my dad's debt. 
It's been a real burden. I used to think, why did I have to live like this when it's not even my debt? So maybe I just wanted someone else to feel a bit of the pain I went through? I wanted to convey it to them. This is how shitty society is or something. But really, I just wanted the money. I've been thinking of living on my own. The turner was it. You're a guy, so you can make it just fine if you're broke. Well, it's just tough for both of us. Let's do our best. Good <laughs> luck, dumbass. I don't know. If I had amnesia, I probably wouldn't trust anybody unless it's said on paper or you got a birth certificate or some shit. So that was foolish. But it's also fucked up. She walked away. I simply stood there, dumbfounded. Even though she said those horrible things. Even though she tricked me and stole my money. All I could do is watch her from behind as she walked away. I... I started walking. I still couldn't believe it. Had Rikana really gotten involved with me simply to take my money my parents had left me? I still believed in her. I wanted to believe her. Even though she would never come back to me. Even though she would never call me bro again. Don't just run forward without watching wh where you're going, stupid. It's dangerous. I felt as if she would just scold me like that. I just kept running forward. Then it happened. I got hit by a car again. <laughs> oh man. That was definitely interesting. And it's just going to repeat the same thing. So I'm not even going to bother. But I, I didn't expect it to be that kind of story. But I'm very interested to see the, the last uh, part. Yeah, there's only three stories as far as I know. But. Oh man, the, the deep sinking feeling of being robbed or tricked, it just sucks, but that was kind of interesting. I hope people enjoyed that, although that was a really depressing story, but oh, other than that, uh, be careful of who you meet. You never know what they have planned. I like to be trusting, but it's going to take a long time for me to know you before I trust you. Like, like seriously, so. Hope you guys got that lesson from that. I, I, I mean, I've always lived that way, but it happens sometimes, but, you know, like I said. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great night, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.